Hey there, welcome. It's Kristen Jackson with Thinksomatics, and each week I teach classes online to folks around the world via Zoom, and that's part of my membership plans. So classes are pretty affordable. They, if, you're, if you can attend them all, you're basically play, paying less than $5 a class each month. But you can learn more about the membership plans on my website, thinksomatics.com. But today I wanna to share with my YouTube peeps a modification that I gave class recently and it was for the side bend. So folks who, do, who have been doing my classes with me for a while, they're like, oh, I know the side bend, but this cueing that I'm gonna invite you to explore with me in a moment is maybe gonna change your side bend, give you a little bit more sensory feedback about how your hips move and what you feel down the sides of your body, as well as the two sides of your pelvis. So if you have not done the side bend, uh, I'll, I don't know, I'll link somewhere <laughs> in this video to the basic side bend and then you can join this video and let's go ahead and get started lighting down on our backs and do a little soma scan. So you'll come down onto your back and we're just gonna take a brief moment to get a sense of where our pelvis, uh, our shoulders, everything is resting. And again, if you're not familiar with the side bend, please check out my side bend video. I'll link it down below. And so I want you to think about where your pelvis is as you rest here and where do your sits bones point? Do you get a sensation of them wanting to pull and point towards your midline? Are they pointing towards the end of the mat, like towards your heels? Or maybe they're uh, arching, your back is arching and they're tipping towards the floor. And also they might feel different left and right. Okay, so one can feel a little tip towards the floor. Maybe one is feeling kind of tucked under and pointed towards the ceiling. And remember, we don't try to fix these things. We just want to notice, and maybe you feel perfectly symmetrical. Maybe you're not sure what you feel at all. And then you can bring your attention to the sides of your body, like through the sides of your hips, your waist up to your ribs, your shoulders, along the neck and up to your skull, jaw, around your ears. And get a sense if you feel like there is a pull down the mat on the left or right side of the body in any of those regions. Maybe everything is tightening on one side and lengthening on the other, or you might have segments, you know, like maybe a shoulder is down, but the opposite hip is up. Maybe you have some shearing scoliosis, just notice if you can sense any deviations of tension down the left and right sides of the body. Okay, so we're noticing where we are at the beginning. So go ahead and uh, slide your feet up to bent knees. We're gonna do the side bend in a moment, but let's just do a brief arch and flatten or flatten and arch. So if you feel tension in your belly, you'll flatten first. If you feel a lot of tension arching into your back, you do your arch first, okay? So I'm gonna go into my arch. I'm gonna arch my back, but you do what you want. Okay, so contracting the back muscles. Are your shoulders pressing into the floor? Can you feel your sacrum press into the floor? Are you pressing right into the middle of your sacrum? And then slowly soften the back. Okay, and as you do that, you might find that your back settles closer to the floor. Maybe you need to lengthen yourself out across the mat. Then I'm gonna contract my front. So I'm gonna close up the chest, my head rocks back, belly and chest get to tighten. And notice where your sits bones go now. Are they rolling, kind of pointing up towards the ceiling? And then slowly let that go. Now, a lot of folks, when they do a flatten, they push with their feet, they use their butts. So try it again. Contract your belly and chest. So feel the front musculature working. Try not to push with your feet or grip with your booty. And then slowly feel the length come back to the front of your body as well as the back of your neck. Okay, so we're just checking out. You can lengthen out your legs again and notice if you're making a different impression on the floor. 
So you feel free to pause the recording if you want to do a few more arch and flattens. Otherwise, we're going to roll to one side and start our side bend. Now, if you have no idea what the side bend is, I have a link below to the side bend. It's a good idea to explore that. But otherwise, we're going to be in our side bend position. Right angle at the hips, right angle at the knees, hand wrapped over the head. And I would like you to tune in to noticing where your sits bones are pointing. We want to get a sense that they're pointing away from our head and imagine they have a couple of lights on them so that they are pointing towards the wall uh, away from our head. If they're tucked under or they're flaring out behind you, probably need to do a few more arch and flattens because we don't want to be using our backs or our fronts to contract into a side bend. We want to really sense the side of the body. Okay, so that's why we do arch and flatten first. So think of the pelvis, you know, kind of like an Oreo cookie and it gets to roll on the floor a bit. So uh, you can just relax your upper body. But what I like you think about is, think about your sits bones kind of shining their light up the wall a little bit and letting your foot float up into the air. So your waist is contracting and we're focusing on getting the sensation that our sits bone particularly the one closer to the ceiling is wagging up and then releasing your waist to lower the foot back down and the sits bone wags back towards closer to the baseboard. Don't worry about the lower body for the next pass here. Let's think about our ribs, our armpit, neck, and contract your waist towards your armpit. Let your head float up. Allow your face to face forward instead of tucking towards your thighs. Feel the contraction in your side. You probably can feel your sits bone wag a little bit up and then expand that accordion waist and lower your head back down. Okay, so the, uh, there is no sinking up of the breath like an exhale and inhale up and down. I just want you to breathe, all right? So let's take the upper and lower parts together this time. So feel your hip and armpit. Want to move towards each other. Head gently floats up, foot floats up. And sits bone is shining its light up the wall. And then melt the effort with slow control releasing head and foot back down. So remember when we're doing a side bend, it's not about moving head and foot first. It's about contracting the torso, the side of the body. So try that again. Start to contract hip and armpit closer together. Feel the squish head and foot float up. Avoid pulling your heel towards your booty. And then release. The light of the sits bone shines back down the wall. Breathe all the way up to the ribs, the armpit, maybe even into the side of your neck. Now this next little variation, we're going to keep our knees together, but float both feet up. So before you start moving your feet, contract your waist, your ribs, head floats up, both feet float up. So now both sits bone lights are shining up the wall. So you can really feel the bottom waist lengthen as the top one shortens. And then take all the time you need to release down the side. Okay, so that's a little variation of the side bend. We'll try it one more time. And remember, it's never about how many you can do and how fast. You'll get more bang for your buck the slower you go. So go ahead and try it again. Slowly contract. You keep breathing. Maybe you want to take a breath towards the floor. Breathe and expand. Shine the si uh, sits bone lights up the wall. And then keep breathing. Breathe into this top side. Feel the sits bone lights wag down the wall. And let that completely melt. So that is 
a variation of the side bend, focusing on the sits bone. So you really get the sensation of that pelvis rolling, you know, like a cog up and down the mat. All right, so take a break on your back. And take a moment to get a sense of where you are now. What's different? What's the impression of your body on the floor compared to earlier? Your focus side, you know, maybe it feels longer. You can also feel longer on the side that's lying on the floor because it's not work. Your body doesn't work, you know, one side by itself. They're working in conjunction. Okay, so again, that is the side bend variation with the sits bones. You do it on the other side. So let's roll over and try it on the other side. So we'll get ourselves into position on the other side. Grab your pillow if you need it. Right angle of hips and knees, hand wrapped over the head. And, you know, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Maybe uh, comment and let me know what you think. And then uh, let's just practice this movement on the other side. We don't need to break it down as much. So again, a, a sense where your sits bones are pointing. And maybe we wanna start with the lower body. So lifting the foot up, but using your waist and thinking sits bone flashlight shining up the wall, which you probably feel the bottom sits bone. Wanna do the same thing and then release. Okay. And then we can take the hand, wrap it over the head. And maybe we wanna try contracting the ribs, the waist, the hip up to the armpit, armpit to the hip, head and foot float up. Tuning in to where your sits bone wags and then releasing down. And just take a moment and see how you feel. Remember it's better to do these slow for quality versus quantity. If you're ready, you can do both feet floating up. So we're gonna think of contracting like an accordion on our side. Head floats up, feet float up together. So it's like this hip, my top hip's moving towards my armpit. My bottom hip that I'm lying on is moving away from my head. And then I release and slowly let go of the side of my body to lower everything back down. Now, a few little cues. If you feel like your neck is working hard, uh, avoid pulling on your head. Also notice if you're pulling your heels up towards your butt when you do this, you want them to just kind of float up in kind of a right angle. You can try it again. Sits bone lights shine up the wall. Feel what's contracting. Let it melt. Breathe into this side that opens. You can also breathe into the side you're lying on. Feel your sits bones melt back towards the floor. Okay, and then when you're done, you can take another break on your back. And just notice how you sense the size of your body once you lie down on your back again. Has anything changed? If you felt like your sits bones were uh, pointing to up towards the ceiling or arching into the floor, do they feel a little bit different now? What do you notice about the sides of your body? Okay, so that was a, just a little variation of the side bend. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll put a little link down below so you can learn more about how to take the full lesson that goes with this little exploration. I'd love it if you wanted to become a member of the online community with Think Somatics. And uh, maybe I'll put a coupon code down there. It'll be available and accessible <laughs> for a brief period of time <laughs> as this video comes out. All right, ciao for now. Thanks for being here.